we will talk about a condition that a whole lot of human are in in their experience in their personal experience life is like me versus the universe being in competition with the universe is a stupid thing to do that's not a competition you must get into me versus the universe is the best competition to get into so this is why yoga yoga doesn't mean twisting and turning your body the word yoga means union right now it's me versus the universe this is just your psychological condition this is not the reality even when you feel utterly lonely are you still breathing so you are transacting with the world isn't it you only can't get along with the people around you but that must atmosphere is okay with you food is okay air is okay water is okay you have transaction to the world isn't it your existence is constantly in engagement with the universe but your mind becomes against the universe if you create a psychological condition that you are against or you are in competition with the universe or the cosmos obviously you will feel crushed for small things little things it will crush you when i say little things maybe you failed your examination maybe you got thrown out of the university maybe you got fired from a job maybe somebody ditched you maybe so many things something else have happened these are all small things between life and death because you came here with nothing isn't it when you die there is no container service for you you die with nothing in spite of that most people have turned their home into warehouses most people are carrying such a huge baggage on their head as if they're carrying the whole universe on their head this is their own psychological condition your thought and emotion is what you are talking about right when are you going to figure out how to handle your thought and emotion not hers not his yours when are you going to learn how to handle my thought and my emotion at the end of your life the only problem really that life is this most human beings have taken themselves too seriously they don't understand you have seen on the computer screen the pop-ups you are a pop-up on this planet you pop up for two seconds and just pop down no no you must see countless number of people li like you and me have walked this planet where are they all topsoil topsoil or no gone unless somebody of your friends decide to bury you very deep fearing that you might come from ray dead all the things in this planet are going to be tired or going to be dead who talks about a place other than this place has a better than this place this is a crime people who talk about having a heaven which is a better place other than this it's a crime against humanity my understanding says the fundamental work is to restore all heavens so that people to people should learn to live well here all the idiots who made the hell out of themselves they want to go to hovels they want to make they have made a mess out of this place and then they want to go to heaven i'm asking do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and you are not messing it up maybe you're already in heaven and you're making a mess out of it simply because you are not even learning how to have how to handle your basic faculties and emotions your only justification is everybody like this that's why it is in my house in a madhouse only a doctor looks crazy think about it so when are you going to ha handle it slowly at the age of 60 when will you learn how to handle my thoughts how to handle my emotion how to handle my body how to handle my chemistry when are you going to figure this at the end of your life because this culture has grown when to do spirituality means when you are 70 when you are no good for anything else no at the earliest possible time whatever is most profound about you not about heavens about this life about everything you need to know you must know soonest isn't it only then you will live a sensible life is it okay if i tell you a joke i hope you won't get offended there must be a serious crowd how many of you are journalists How many of you are journalists? This happened. A guy, when he was in Paris, 
he was married to a French woman. Woman. One day, that guy. It was their anniversary, first anniversary. So she invited a bunch of friends, and she wanted to cook something really fresh, everything fresh. So from morning, she was driving him to this market, to, to, to that market, from this market to that market, fresh meat, fresh chicken, this thing and that thing. Then in the evening she said, because the French have this, you know, snail appetizer, she said, go to the beach and get some snails fresh and I will make some appetizer for all the friends who are coming. So then the guy went to the beach and he was picking up all the snails and putting in the bucket. Then he met an old friend, an Indian guy. They hit it off and they were talking about the old times. He just forgot that he's married. <laughs> you know, when you, when you meet old friends, it happens. And both of them went to a bar and they had a few drinks. And he just forgot. Then he realized oh, the snails were just climbing out from the top. And one of the snails fell out of the bucket and he realized, oh my god, I'm supposed to take these snails to my wife, French wife. She is waiting. So he said, I need to go and he went. By that time it was already very late. He went, he knew, it's not going to be pleasant. So he came near the house and spilled all the snails on the ground, threw over the bucket and went and knocked the door. The French fury came. He turned back and said, Come on you guys, we are almost there. We are almost there. We are almost there, let's go. He turned to the snails and told them, Let's go. So when are you going to pick your snails and put them in the bucket and fix them? Huh? Your problem, you must fix them, isn't it? These are not problems. I want you to understand. You are not suffering your life. You are only suffering two fantastic faculties. It's a privilege of being human that we have these two fantastic faculties. One is, we have a vivid sense of memory. This is because of this memory our life is so rich, unlike any other creature. And we have fantastic sense of imagination. Now, this is what you're suffering. What happened 10 years ago, you can still suffer. Why? Are you suffering your life or memory? Hello? Memory. What may have happened day after tomorrow, you're already suffering, thinking about that. Are you suffering life or imagination? Two most fantastic faculties you have, you're suffering. So what are you asking for? You want to become once again an earthworm? And Wartham is a very eco-friendly creature, I have nothing against it. But it took millions of years of evolution to get you there at this size of brain. And now you are suffering it. If you take your half of your brain, of course, you will sit there peacefully, without any anxiety, without any suffering, peacefully. What we need is, we need to remove your brain, because you are suffering your own intelligence. Yes or no? Because we gave you a very complex machine you have not bothered to read the manual you want to just blunder around no no young people it's time you figure out a few things about you if you don't know how we will give you tools how to figure these machines out because in your life many issues will come more issues come up in your life and that means you are living an active life Nothing came up means you are not living. Lots of issues every day. I have the maximum number of troubles going on in my life on a daily basis. Because so much effectivity around the world. Global level of activity. When you think about yourself and your problem that's what you need to think about. Is this something that you need to take pressure about? One thing you need to think, you are not the issue in your life. What about the, whatever the issue will go the best, but this should not be the issue. 
your memory and your imagination they should not be the issue that's the main thing just think about it